The markets in the week are bullish. This is D7 here at Grok Trade, and this is the weekend edition. Get through Sunday, May 30th, 2016. And I got this video out much later than expected. I tried hard to get a certain project done before I got this video uh, published for you all so I could promote it to you. It's a, uh, so I'll give you a, a hint. It has to do with uh, the 101s and something we're doing with those. I wanted you to be the first to know about it as their release. So anyway, um, be... Looking forward to some information on that very, very soon. And overall, the markets, bullish territory on Friday. Gold down, silver down. And uh, with Yellen, the Fed coming out saying that it's appropriate to raise interest rates fairly soon. Gold hovers right around $1,200 an ounce at this moment. And anyway, so check this out, the SP. 500 ETF, the spider does break up over a major trend line. Because of that, I'm gonna get rid of this red arrow. We broke over it, that's a very bullish move, but the volume has been so, so weak. And remember that big um, head and shoulder formation? Throw that out the window, because the markets just cannot be stopped, of course. Even when you have a, a head and shoulder trend reversal pattern at major areas of resistance, no, the market says we're going bullish. But we're popping up higher on not very big volume. Gang, there's no conviction to this upside move. So I remaining flat this market as much as I'd want to be bullish. But let's go and look at some other things. Diamonds, diamonds, diamonds. It's the diamonds daily chart. So we popped up, 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 up. Now we're kind of building this little mini me, mini me uh, bullish pennant. Up, 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 tight, 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 tight. I mean, this thing could pop again. Got resistance coming across this line right here. NASDAQ daily crossed above a major area of resistance. NASDAQ broke above an area of resistance. Last two days, though, just really little volume. So the volume is just very concerning to me. Small caps, we're at resistance. You can see support, support. Support, resistance, resistance. We're at resistance. So we haven't broke over that yet. But man, it's, everything else is looking fairly bullish. But you see these two horizontal red lines coming across? Those areas are going to be resistance. Banks, sideways stall after a pop. So we're building a base, it looks like. Financials, building a base, but under a big uh, resistance line. Let me show you this. This goes back here, July 2015 and you'll see this November 2015 here December 2015 and we're back at it right now so it has to break over that it needs to pop above this base is being built on on you know not very big volume uh, US dollar popped up higher we've got the following 100 day moving average and it's coming back down here so it looks like it's wanting to relax. If the mar if the U.S. dollar starts to drop, what's interesting here is the markets have been uh, quite bullish. The U.S. dollar has been bullish. So instead of that acting as an inverse indicator, the dollar I'm speaking of, it's actually in confluence with what we're seeing in the markets. Very uh, something you don't see often. Crude oil, big rising wedge. And I think this has a better chance of starting to break down here soon. We are above the 200-day moving average. Gold, down, 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 down. Just continues down. We had this big area of support Friday. Couldn't hold it. Drops down below it. Silver, down, 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 down. It's just in a lot of trouble. Uh you know, if you guys remember back here when we started rallying, I was looking into buying some precious metal. And just because of what I was seeing here, I just couldn't get myself to pull the trigger on it. Not yet. I'm going to need to see some more technical things for me to want to start loading up on 
precious metals. The VIX down, 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 and down. This thing is it's just crazy because this was rolling. You can see this really normally. Nine times out of ten, it's going to start popping up. But it just shows the power. It's defying logic and gravity, as far as that's concerned. <laughs> um, or at least gravity yanking this thing down. Um, if I go to the VIX itself, we have this big area support. Support, support, broken. We do have some support coming across on a horizontal line, but interesting. If I go here, I'm going to go to the weekly chart. Look at this spider. Boom, to the upside. Just above an area of resistance closing at the week's high. But look how weak the volume has been up here at these highs. Volume on the weekly chart still just a very poor. Diamonds, a bull pullback. We did get a close below a trend line and then pop, boom, to the upside. I'm going to see if I can massage this there. Take this, move that up higher. I'm going to take it to this shadow, to these bodies. Maybe drop that just a hair. And right there's the line. So it's drop, 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 boom, to the upside. And again, this is the diamonds. NASDAQ weekly, down, 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 boom. Big resistance coming up fairly soon. Hold on a second. I drew that line. Oh, it's just a parallel line. So this one is a ghost line that I cannot... If I bring it to this swing, it's been a little while since I massaged this. I actually broke through that resistance area. Man, everything's looking bullish, guys. Well, except small caps. So we have support, 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 resistance. We're right at resistance right now. Out on the weekly chart, that could be problematic. The banks broke out of resistance, this resistance line. That's very powerful. Financials, financials here at resistance. You can see this resistance, resistance, resistance. We're right at resistance. US dollar up, up, up. Look at this. This is getting ready to drop. I mean, uh, we got the following 20 week moving average. This is, I, the, the dollar's in a ton of trouble. I'm, I'm expecting this dude to break down matter of fact so much so i'm going to come in here and put this red arrow crude oil up 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 and away on the weekly chart gold weekly chart had this rising wedge and a breakdown ouch it's just no good it's below the 20 week moving average silver up, 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 finding an area of support soon. Silver actually looks better to me than gold, and it has been for the last month. VIX, just, I mean, it's nothing to, it's just down, down, down. Here's the VIX index down, but look at this. You know what? I'm going to put a line right here. Look at this. Big support. We're right at that area of support for the VIX. And let's do a quick look here at the monthly spider so the monthly spider so down 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 I gotta raise that now because wow we just so had the chance to break down there but here we pop up boom trying to go higher here it's wow this is amazing here the diamonds monthly Monthly, we're closing out the month. Look at this. Above a major trend line coming across. We should have just dropped here. Man, I got to get rid of that. NASDAQ on the floor. Floor, support, 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 support. You know, you know, it has upside potential here if it wants to go. I mean, it could certainly do that. The diamonds looks a lot more bullish. The NASDAQ is lagging compared to the S&P and diamonds. It's not nearly as bullish. Let's see what small caps. Small caps had a nice little pop here over a resistance area. Got to get rid of this dude. Uh, it's Man, things are looking pretty bullish here across the board. Banks, I said, look for that to start to drop. I can't because it closed over, closed over the shin line. I mean, are you kidding me? Nine times out of ten, it would come up, 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 stall out right here. Give us a hanging man reversal pattern and then drop. It did not do that. It closed above. Just enough to frustrate savvy technicians like myself. 
And yeah, yeah, financials here closed above a trend line on the monthly. The U.S. dollar looking strong. Boom, on the monthly. Looking like it could go higher on the monthly. Crude oil is still going higher, stalling at the 100. Or I'm sorry, what is that? The 8. What is that line? That is the AEMA, but on the monthly chart so we're finding resistance right at that gold monthly up 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 hit resistance dropped drop silver up 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 and now is dropping and vix 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 let's go to the vix index we do we have some i mean big areas of support coming up soon I see this so it still has more downside potential. Markets have more upside potential. Overall, that's where we're at. If you like the video, like it. Catch you guys later.